If you guys missed the last vlog, I was talking about an upcoming build that I'm going to be doing here on the channel, and that is meant to be coming up very soon, and it actually kind of ties in with a project that I can't talk to you guys about just yet because I'm under NDA about a particular product that I'm going to be throwing into this build and incorporating into that video, and I'm kind of on a deadline for this that I have to meet, so I really need a motherboard, which I do not have right now at this time. I mean, I've got a couple of AM4 motherboards that I could probably utilize from previous builds, but those are in fully assembled builds, and, you know, they're both working okay, so I don't really want to take any of those out. So my only option left is to go up to Micro Center today so that I have this motherboard in time for the NDA, which is lifting in just a few days for a video that you guys will be seeing. So... I really got to head up there straight away and get a motherboard. I was already looking on the website, so they actually do have a couple of boards in stock. Well, well the two that would actually work because I'm trying to stick within a, uh, a certain color scheme. I'm, I have some uh, orange, white, and black cables, so I'm trying to find something fairly monochrome and simple that I could use, like just maybe like black and white, so it's not going to really conflict with any of the colors that I'm planning to put into this build with the parts that I've already acquired. So. I kind of find something that falls in with that, so the options that we have right now are the ASRock Pro 4, which is $100 at Micro Center, and then they've also got the Asus Prime 2, I believe it's called, the X370, pretty sure that's the name on it, I'll put links to them both down in the description below for anyone that wants to check them out. So I'm not sure which one, I, which one I'm going to get, initially I was planning to just get a B350 motherboard because I'm trying to keep this build within a certain budget. But they've got some open box specials on both of these boards at the Patterson Micro Center. So once I get up there, I'm going to see what they actually have there, um, you know, on hand. If maybe they got any other deals, like, because I've seen before, they've had open box. Oh, sorry about that. Had a, a delivery just show up from Fractal Design. I'll show you what I got in a second. Um, but as I was I was saying, they I've seen uh, deals in the past on open box stuff where they've had like half off of open box items. So you might be able to even get a better deal than what... They have listed on the website, so we'll see what happens once we get up there, because I really do need this motherboard for the deadline, like I said. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along with the ride. I already got permission from Michael over at Micro Center to film up in the store, so we should be good once we get up there. But just now, this uh, this showed up, so we use, oh, that already partially opened a little bit. I'm going to be using this in a in a build project pretty soon. Got the S34, is it 34? 20, no, 24, sorry. S24 and the S36 Celsius coolers. From Fractal Design. Very cool. Haha. <laughs> Pun intended. So yeah, a couple of new AIOs from Fractal Design. I, I, I saw these like come out last week. A couple people did reviews on them. And uh, being that I am into like the whole black and the simple black look and everything. As you can kind of tell by the memory foam. The, not memory foam. The acoustic foam behind me and my current attire. That I kind of like black and gray. Black and white sort of monochrome aesthetic. So these are right up my alley and hopefully they could do a good job of cooling my main rig here, which I've been running off of the Be Quiet cooler for a few months now, which isn't that bad, but sometimes like during rendering and gaming, you know, when the Jeep, if the GPU is really maxed out as well as the CPU, the temperatures can get pretty high inside of my system. So I'm hoping to get rid of the, the air cooler and swap that out for one of these water coolers. I'm not sure which one yet, either the 240 mil or the 360, and then the other one, whichever one's left over, we'll use for a project project in the future. But that video will be coming soon. I'm going to do a video on that and show like the temperature differences when I go from the air cooler to the water cooler, and we'll see what happens there. But yeah, we'll uh, get up to Micro Center now, and we'll and I'll catch up with you guys in a few. But I believe between now and then, this this is where we put the metal montage. Yeah. So they have the Asus Prime X370 board, and they have they have quite a few of them actually. But some of them are listed for 120, some of them are 105, and they're all clearance and listed as complete. So I'm trying to figure out what the difference between these right now. They're both list they both say complete. They both have the manufacturer warranty. They're both covered by Micro Center for 15 days return policy. So it's open box. That's good. So in case I get this home and it's DOA or whatever, I can at least exchange it. Oh, I think actually maybe it's hmm. Maybe it's just based on the price it was when it was returned. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm going to see if I can find one of the store associates and find out why there's a $15, $15 price difference, basically, 
um, between two clearance motherboards, which are listed as complete and basically identical. I found it, I found another one that's listed for 105. So they got they've got a few of them listed for 105, and I found one so far that's 120. They also got this guy, the Asus B350M, which I believe is an MATX, not an ITX. It doesn't say on the box. But yeah, it looks like an MATX, I think. Alright, so it looks like the pricing is affected by what's actually inside of the box. So like we opened one of these up and one of them actually didn't have the rear I.O. backplate. Another one didn't have one of the State of Express cables because these are open box. They were these were these were purchased and then returned for whatever reason. Um, so like one of them, like I said, was missing the rear I.O. So I'm just trying to find one right now that has most of the stuff in it. I mean, I do want the rear I.O. Um, one of them was missing, like I said, a State Express cable. I'm not really too concerned about that. But if it has everything else, then I think we will uh, proceed. So yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, X370 Pro here from Asus. It's listed at 105, as you can see there. Um, it's got everything in there. We got the we got the rear I/O. We've got the, all the SATA Express cables inside of this one, and the motherboard looks to be in pretty good condition. I don't see any any bent like connectors or anything like that. No scratches or any alarming um, you know things on it. Obviously, it very well could be a DOA motherboard, but once we get it inside the system, we will know for sure. But I'm pretty confident that. Uh, that it'll be good to go. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take this board right now and check it out. Oh, they got 570s and 580s. I am sorely tempted to pick up a RX 580, even though it's so similar to the RX 480. Everyone keeps on saying when I use the 40, like, oh, why aren't you using a 580? Well, it's because I don't have one. But there they are. But I'm 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 really banking on the fact that someone's gonna send me a 580 at some point, so I don't want to spend the money on one. But yeah, 250 bucks there for the Vision Tech RX 580, 270 for the SXFX model, and then the 570 at 199. I would love to be able to test one of these cards out. Looks like they got the Corsair Spec Alpha in here, which is the older version of the case I'm going to be using soon, which is the Corsair Spec 04. Pretty affordable chassis. I believe the newer one is actually cheaper. This one is listed for 77. So I'm going to be using the black and gray variant of the updated version of this case for the PC build. So that should be pretty interesting. Nice getting to see it in, first, in person finally. NZXT Manta, another case I haven't got a chance to build in yet. $150 though, Mini ITX. Pretty pricey, but absolutely gorgeous Mini ITX uh, case. I wouldn't mind using this at all for a uh, PC build. Hit me up, NZXT. Hit me up. Das is das keyboard. I think I want this. 65 bucks for the S340 is not bad at all. It's actually really good. Another case I haven't built in yet from NZXT. RGB, all the things. Even the power supply. This is why I tend to like to come to Micro Center when I'm getting ready to do a PC build and I need a motherboard and a CPU. I already have my Ryzen processor for this build that I'm going to be using, but if I was getting a Ryzen CPU with a motherboard, this is one of the reasons I'd come here, because you can get um, boards like the ASRock Pro 4 for 20 bucks when you pair it with a Ryzen processor when you pick them up at the same time. So that's really like one of the main reasons to go here. The motherboard and CPU combos are just insane. All right, so just finished getting the motherboard there. Ended up paying 108 and everything with tax. So I'm going to head home now with the board. I won't be able to actually work on the build until tonight or probably more likely tomorrow morning because I'm waiting for the case to arrive. That's the last part that I need. It's the, like I said, the Corsair Spec 04. So I'm just waiting for that to show up so that I can work on this build. And at my new house, UPS kind of shows up late. They come at like, like 6, 6.30 at night. It, it really sucks because my old place where I used to live, it would come at like, they'd come at like 10, 11 o'clock, and it was pretty reliable. They were always there at the same time. But now they usually come anywhere between like 4 and 7 p.m., which is really late in the day. So it kind of sucks from a work standpoint if I used to be able to say, okay, I need something to, I need a pr product to work on a project tomorrow. And I could say, okay, if, if I order it overnight, I know it's going to be here before noon. So it, it was very, it was good having that at my previous residence. But now where I'm at, it's just one of the, very few minor like drawbacks of, of this location is just you for whatever reason UPS shows up really really late to my house so just kind of is what it is I have to wait for the case to show up and then I'll be able to work on this build and get a build video out for you guys and then uh, that other piece of content that I can't really talk about just yet will be uh, coming later in the week so keep an eye out for all of that if you uh, want a link to the the motherboard that I that I picked up or anything like that I will link to them down in the description below and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.